Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer x, y and z as the input and find the common factors of x and y and also to find the common factors of y and z and finally the program must print the factors in descending order as the output so first we are going to accept the three integers x y and z and find the common factors of x and y and then find common factors of y and z and print the factors in descending order so we'll take our first test case So in this test case, we have this x and y. So now we'll find the common factors of x and y. So that is 1, 2 and 4. And then we'll find the common factors of y and z. So here, these are the common factors. There is 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. So now we'll I arrange them in descending order that is 20 10 5 4 4 2 2 1 1 so this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so in this case first let us find the common factors of x and y so that is 1 and 11 and we'll find the common factors between y and z that is also 1 and 11 so our output will be 11 11 1 1 that is in descending order so this will be our output now we'll understand our logic of this program so we have to run a loop from y to 1 because it is only the common thing that is the uh, so first we have x to y and then we have from y to z so the common part is y right so that is from x to y and y to z so since y is present in both we are running a loop from y to 1 and here we check the condition that is if the if CTR is common factor of X and Y then we must print CTR so similarly if CTR is common part of Y and Z then we have to print CTR Now let us implement our program. First we'll get our inputs x, y and z. Map of in comma input of dot split off. And then we'll iterate a loop from y to 1 as we said in the logic video. So the loop runs from y comma 0 comma minus 1. So why we are using y is that y is the common part of both that is the find short find the common factors of x and y and y and z so we use y so we check our condition that is if x mod ctr is equal to equal to 0 and y mod ctr is equal to equal to 0 means we have to print the ctr and use end argument 
and similarly if y mod ctr is equal to equal to 0 and ez mod ctr is equal to equal to 0 means we have to print ctr and use end argument so now let us execute our program So yes, we have got the correct output. Now we'll pass our another test case. Here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.